We're here at CBC with Jesse Crookshank, one of Canada's most beloved TV personalities and one of the funniest people ever. She's known for her roles as host on MTV, The After Show, MTV Live. She was an LA correspondent for eTalk as well. She's been recently working on Canada's Smartest Person and The Goods. So thank you so much for having us, Jesse. We're so excited to talk to you today. Thank you so much for memorizing my resume. <laughs> I'm so impressed. We read all about yeah. you. Oh, yeah. sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. Good. Thanks, Bays. I love oh, you. Oh, I just want to be called a Bay. I You're a Bay. You're a Bay. You okay, are good. a Bay. You are a Bay. Official. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Your Baywatch official. Yeah. yeah. Bay approved. Yeah. Bay approved. Bay, Bay approved. Bay approved. Bay approved. Thanks, there you go. Lady. So since we just said you've been in this industry for a long time. When did you first know you really wanted to be in the industry? In in media and TV? Yeah. I mean, I didn't go to school for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that I know that this is what I wanted to do, I kind of wish I had, because we <laughs> were all going to get way better training than I had going into oh, it. Oh, thanks. But my mom was a television host at the CBC. Oh, wow. wow. Ironically, when I was a little kid. <laughs> yeah. And so I think I just always thought of it as like, I mean, I, I no no stretch of the imagination did I have like connections getting into the business. But when I was a kid, I was so, it was something that I thought I could do. Yeah. And I think yeah. for a lot of kids, they don't even think that's something I could do. But there was my mom. I would watch her on TV every Sunday, that's and so she cool. had her show. And and I remember like being a little kid, and they brought the whole crew to my house to film something, and oh, there were lights, and there were cameras. So cool. And I was like, yes, I was like, yeah, this is insane. so cool. Yeah. Like maybe one day I'll get to do this. It's the best job in the yeah. world. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. It's the best job in the world because I think what the difference between being a TV host yeah versus a an actor or, or is like I'm just my I'm just me I get to be yeah. me yeah. for a job yeah. I get yeah. to make dumb jokes and do stupid <laughs> things and like and I get to do it with you know the millions of people watching who I feel like are friends and we're yeah. all just hanging out and that's the coolest part of this that's job. for sure really awesome. yeah and we know that uh, you have taken drama classes before mm -hmm. right so does that like somehow benefit you in your uh, career as a host? Ah, that's a good question. I I went to uh, university uh, on a full scholarship. No wow. 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 No, wow. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> hold the applause. Hold the applause. Wait, for English and drama, which I'm sure my parents were like, so she's going to be a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I did. Like, I really wanted to be a, a Shakespearean actor. I wanted to perform on the stages of London. Wow. And I think once I started doing that, I was I realized, like, it's, it, was, it wasn't challenging to read other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. I couldn't change anything, I couldn't have input, I couldn't be myself, I'm playing all these other characters. Mm -hmm. And I think what I discovered is for me the most gratifying thing, the most satisfying thing was really being me and being a part of something from start to finish. So what you saw in The Goods, like I write all my stuff, I, I'm heavily involved in producing everything. So you really are a part of something creatively. You're not just showing up, yeah. getting yeah. dabbed with makeup <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and reading yeah. someone else's words. Um, so I think the drama thing actually helped uh, to clarify for me that I really did want to be a host. A lot of work that goes into it. A lot of people thinking, you know, it comes effortlessly, but actually there's so much production behind it. Right, but we'll only share that with each other. Exactly. To yeah. The lay person watching, mm. it's totally effortless. <laughs> and I never like, I mean, you guys have cards because you're do. prepared, yeah. but I don't know if you noticed on the show, I never have cards. No. This is my own personal method of making it seem like it's all spontaneous it's all right and natural. There for you. Yeah. yeah. In fact, most interviews that I do with big celebrities, I'll have my cards and I'll sit on them. That's my secret. <laughs> They're like up my bum. <laughs> in the event that I blank in the face of Ryan Gosling, I can like, like pull it out. Would. My goodness. Yeah. So <laughs> I wear like a security blanket, but I like to appear like it's all very natural oh, and yes, easy. Fun. Sorry, those were in a very dirty place. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like working with three people versus just by yourself hosting or interviewing someone? It's so different. I l I'm so lucky that I love genuinely you. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Bays, you know I would tell you. Yes. I Tell you if I didn't We're like them. Oh, terrible people. I can't <laughs> stand that. No, I really genuinely love them. And I think the reason that we work together is we're so different. Yeah. So when you're all bringing completely different things to the table, there's no competition. There's no. You're really genuinely just learning from each other. Good thing too about having a co-host is if you do 
have your cards shoved under your uh, skirt and you forget what you're supposed to do next, someone is going to have your back. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. When I'm alone, if I screw up, that's that's on me. And you also host Canada's Smartest Person. Mm -hmm. How is that like? Any challenges to that? Canada's Smartest Person, fine. But like, Canada's Smartest Host. Yeah, It takes yeah. a lot, takes a yeah. lot to that's run crazy. everything all yeah. at once. That you guys should come to a taping of that too. Oh, no problem. No you should down, compete. Down. Ooh, you should compete. Ooh, we want to be a team. We, we can be a team. team. <laughs> You I might be the first ever team. I'll and look you, into well, that. And you talked about how hectic this gets. So how do you balance your social life and your career? I think it's so funny that you think I have a social life. <laughs> <laughs> here with you on a Thursday night. This is my social life. This is the most like uh, careless hanging out with girlfriends I've had in a very long time. Um, it's really hard. I yeah. think you know you know already. I'm sure if you if you work in this business, you have to be willing to work long hours. This is not a nine to five. You take oh yeah. 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 You're you're especially when you're starting out. You're mm -hmm. like grinding start to finish. So I mean, by the end of the night, I get home and all I want to do is like take my clip-on hair out and put on my sweatpants <laughs> and like yeah. be alone. Yeah. Um, so I, I, but I try to see my girlfriends on weekends. And the good thing is, in there's a lot of awesome people who work in the media world. Yeah. So you you actually end up being really close with the people you work with. So yeah. it's like yeah, kind of girl. having a social life. When you love the people you work with, you feel like you're hanging oh, yeah. out with friends every day. Oh, right? Oh, see, <laughs> you guys are technically working right now. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Isn't that insane? You've interviewed a lot of cool people. We want to know what's your favorite person you've ever interviewed. Oh, so other than us. other than <laughs> well, you're interviewing me, but I mean, other than meeting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is such a hard question because there's like the word favorite. I feel is broad enough to say yeah. like mm -hmm. the most insane interview I ever did was with Mariah Carey. Oh, the diva herself. I mean, the diva herself. The like you hear all mm -hmm. these rumors. Of course. And uh, all I can say, as I know this is going on the internet, is they're <laughs> all true. Oh. They're all true. Straight up diva. Yeah. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. let me just tell you that this lighting setup that you've created here for Baywatch, yes. that would not do for Miss Mariah. No. Really? Would not be walking into this lighting setup. Wow. Yeah, there were wow. a lot of rules when it came to interviewing mm -hmm. Mariah. Wow. And she was lovely, and mm -hmm. we had a great chat, um, but it was a, it was a, it was, she was, she was a diva. Did it make you nervous? Oh, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was like nervous. sweating through my dress. And when she walked over, like one of the first things she said was, I like your dress. It was like, you know, I like yeah. your dress. Who <laughs> makes it? And I was like, oh, I don't, like I couldn't <laughs> form thoughts. I actually didn't know. I was like, oh, I don't know. And she like almost snapped at the person next to her and was like, who makes her dress? And suddenly oh a goodness. man had his hands opening the back of my zipper <laughs> oh and my looking. God. And I was in my head, I was like, please don't be Target. Like, please be <laughs> something okay for Mariah. <laughs> yeah. And he read the label and zipped it up. And it was a, oh it was my a goodness. very nerve wracking thing. Oh. I love supporting Canadian fashion, mm -hmm. Canadian designers. Yes. I feel like I don't really have one celebrity style icon because mm -hmm. I kind of like to create my own look from different yeah. things. things. Yeah. Mix and match. Laces, Makes mix sense. and match. But like creepily enough, because she's 20, I think, or 21, I think Kendall Jenner looks amazing <laughs> every agree. day I at love all style. times. Yeah. Yep. And love I'm like, style. it's sad for me to be uh, pray, looking up to a 20 year old supermodel, but <laughs> my God, she looks great. Yeah, it's not yeah. uncommon for me to send our wardrobe team Kylie Jenner pictures as inspiration. <laughs> can I and be like, can we find some? <laughs> yeah. What has been your least favorite fashion trend of 2016? Oh, I'm glad you brought this up <laughs> because I feel like, and I, this was 2015 into 2016, mm -hmm. it was jean shorts so short, the lower bum is hanging out. Oh, oh like we get a little uh, yeah. low bum. Who <laughs> thought that this was a flattering part of the female <laughs> physique? Like the sack of bum yeah. fat that hangs against your leg is something that I want to show the world. Maybe at the beach. Maybe at the yeah, beach. Maybe maybe at the beach. Short not short. like at the mall. No, 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 no. not no. the subway, yeah, no. Walmart. There's no. a time and a place for everything. <laughs> Anywhere yeah. where you have to touch like public transit yeah. is not healthy <laughs> or attractive. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And do you have any 
memorable moments of your career so far that really stick out to the you? The most memorable? Most memorable. Other than being a guest on Baywatch? Oh. <laughs> we were doing the Hills After Show. It was started out as like this little show that we would shoot on Friday nights at 11 mm -hmm. o'clock. No one, we didn't know if anyone was really watching or paying attention. We would sit around and drink martinis and talk about the Hills. And then uh, we had a finale mm -hmm. and we flew some of the cast into MTV to be on our finale. Wow. And at like noon that day, we were told that police had arrived to shut down Young Street because thousands of oh people goodness. had come for the taping wow. of the show. Oh wow. And at that moment, we didn't even know people were watching. Like yeah. we were just making That's this insane. show on Friday nights. So that was, and there were 7,000 people there. There were people outside trying to get in that didn't get in. That was like, I threw up in a garbage can <gasps> before going out. I just could not believe there were people there. That's I couldn't insane. believe how many Crazy. people were there. That was an insane moment. Oh, yeah, that is sure. definitely. But like every other dream come true is so awesome. I'm going every other dream, dream. come true. <laughs> I could like meet Beyonce. Yeah. Yes. yes, every other yes. dream come true. Oh, friends, what? <laughs> friends. Don't they say parents tell you the best? No, my parents would say, trust me, I, my, my, my parents would set me up with like the nebbishy neighbor who is like the son of someone. No, Just my like friends, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> I'd rather marry someone different, uh, who shares a similar sense of humor. Aww. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because as long as you have the same sense of humor, yeah. no matter how different good. you are, everything's going to work. Just got to laugh. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. So thank you so much for talking to us today. We had so much fun. Oh, that yeah. was so, so like painless. a nice little girl chat. Yeah. Yes. The so best. We're just missing some wine, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Yes. Thanks, so do you guys. want to tell our audience where they can find you on social media? Oh, sure. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm at Jesse Crookshank on Instagram. <laughs> Good luck spelling that. <laughs> um, and I'm uh, at Jesse, J-E-S-S-I, on Twitter. Thank you for having Hi. us in CBC. And stay tuned for more video videos from Baywatch. Woohoo! Woo